Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Use coupon code CARL to get a 10% discount. So, for this shot, I'm going with an extremely soft lighting. And to create an extremely soft lighting, I've basically created my own giant softbox by using four bare bulb lights onto the Infinity Cove wall, a couple of extra panels there. So this literally creates a huge light source to give the softest light possible. And I've balanced the light so that the weaker one is down here and it's slightly stronger in power up here because this one's a little bit further away. I've put a negative fill on this side to add a bit of contrast because this side was too light with light bouncing off the floating ceiling and back from the studio. So this just keeps a bit of shadow, even a soft shadow, but keeps a bit of shadow on that side. And I've flagged these lights here and here and this wall here just to keep a little bit more light off the background because we have a lot of bounce around the studio um, but it's working really nicely so far the only addition that I might make to this is to add an additional hard light in at a very weak power so that we can get a weak sharp shadow and a little bit more contrast Beautiful, keep that there, absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna put the other light in now just to see how that looks. Turn all the other lights off except for that one for a moment. I just wanna see what that spotlight's doing. So we've got a slightly harder shadow coming in, but it's just a weak harder shadow. Right, we're gonna work with that. Okay, right. Okay, let's take a break for a minute and I want to see if we can make that work with the pink handbag. That's a nice one too. Very clear screen, really good detail. camera for this one. Good. Good. Oh, 
I like that cyan top with this, with this bag. If you get changed, please, my dear. So you can see on this one now, I've introduced a bit of harder lighting. So this lighting here, this shadow that you see coming across the skin and also the shadow from the strap from the handbag just adds another dimension to the shot. So we still have the soft light, but we also have this harder light as well. I'm just gonna look at a recrop on that. That works quite nicely as well. So just experimenting with those different light levels there before. The first set were obviously the softer portrait, but uh, just mixing it up a little bit. Right, I want you to just try something a little bit weird. So start like just literally put the bag on your head and hold the bag. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, let's try it. Try it on top of the shoulder of the bag. See if you can bring it into our other shoulder and see if you can bring it into the shoulder and tucking into you, that's it. That's it, good, beautiful. Beautiful, keep it there. That's it, cat. can relax, well done, very good. Really happy with that, This, the quality of this screen is fantastic. Normally I'd be shooting tethered, but I'm really actually enjoying the freedom of not shooting tethered here and um, being able to just preview these images at this you know, really good resolution on the back of the screen. way please cat let's just have a look and see what we're gonna do here now hold that up as if you're trying to look at something in the Sun but trying to shield part of your face from the Sun that's it that's it beautiful Good, you look good. I think the slight tilt of the head helps. Right, we're gonna go another set like that, cat. That's it there, good. Lovely, you can see the makeup really nicely on that side. OK, 
Okay, what else can we do with this? Right, let's try something else. What else can we do? So we've got the harsh sunlight look. Let me just see where the shadow is. So the shadow hits your face there. Do it that way. Now we could have the shadow on that side. And then that means that's so right. Hold the bag where I've got it now. And then see if you can get your other, oh, that's it. That's nice, yeah. Perfect, right, good. Like that. Keep that for me. Lovely. And relax. Those were lovely. Right, okay. I'm going to change to a different lighting setup now with just a very simple single light only. Uh, actually, I say single light only. We're going to keep this. So what I want to do is um, turn that off, turn this off, turn that off, and we're going to get the Broncolor satellite in just for an old school style beauty lighting look. you held it like that a bit goofy and then like that like that that's it good these um, boards I want the black side either side of cap take them out a meter or two that's quite nice You're holding it like a baby that's good actually. Yeah, that looks like you're really in love with it. All right, let's go. Okay, so as well as dragging the focus point around, you can also set your custom button so I can activate the focus selection here and use the wheels to select the focus point instead. So two options. One, select the focus point with wheels. Two, drag the focus point around. And relax for a second. Lovely set, good. That's really nice. It's lovely that. Fantastic. Good work. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Carl to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.